Hello, and welcome to Mrs. Perryman's She Shed. Today, I want to talk to you about starting seeds. There's lots of different kinds of plant seeds available to gardeners. Some of them are direct sow that you sow right into the garden soil, such as the turnip and the carrots. And some of them do a little better if you, if you grow them inside or get them started before you plant them. And that's the way I like to do the beans and the sunflowers. So here's my little garden I have going inside. These are all started from seed, and these are probably, oh, about three, three to four weeks uh, that they've been in here, and some of them are growing lots faster than others. Some of them like a little bit warmer temperature uh, to germinate, and so that's why uh, some of them are further along than others. So these right here in front, these are different kinds of beans, and they are these are climbers, so they actually are called pole beans, and so they'll need some type of trellis uh, to be able to grow uh, up and wrap their tendrils around, and we'll have uh, some tasty green beans coming from those pretty soon. Over here, these are um, some zinnias and some cosmos and some sunflowers. And I like to grow flowers in my in my vegetable garden too because I think it kind of distracts the bugs sometimes, and and uh, they will will uh, pick on the flowers instead of my vegetables. Over here, we've got some unusual varieties. This is a lemon cucumber, and so it's kind of round and yellow, like a lemon, um, but it still kind of has that cucumber taste. And then this is basil, and so that's always yummy to make pesto out of in the summertime. And then this is dill, which will go along uh, just great whenever I get ready to can the cucumbers and make some pickles. And right here I'm trying something new. I've never done this before, but these are sweet potatoes. And I've cut them up, and I guess you probably have seen sweet potatoes growing in pots with the great big uh, bright green leaves. And so that's kind of what I've got going on here, but they have to root before I plant them. So this is kind of an experiment, so I'll, I'll let you know how that turns out. Okay, and this is, this is a new little start, and these I just kind of watered in today. We put the seeds in the dirt, and so we'll see how long these take before they germinate and start growing. Well, let's go on a little field trip over to the garden. This is my herb patch here, and I've got several things growing. I've got some chai back here in the back, cilantro, some rosemary, and lemon balm, which makes really nice tea. And then this is a blueberry bush. I'm hoping uh, that it's gonna make lots of blueberries this year. There's lots of blooms. Well, here's what some of the direct seed uh, plants look like after they've been growing for a little while. This is carrots, and carrots took a little bit longer to germinate outside than some of the other things, but they're, they're growing now. This is spinach, and spinach is one of those early crops that will take a little bit more cold. And so I'm letting this uh, get a little bit bigger, but as I start to pick it, I'm just going to pick it by the leaves instead of pulling up the plants so that it'll uh, keep growing for a while. And then this is lettuce, and lettuce is another one of those early spring uh, type plants or seeds rather that we can can uh, grow early in the spring and again I'm just kind of cutting the leaves instead of pulling up the whole plant. These are some onion starts that I've planted oh, about a month ago and they're really starting to come along and later uh, toward the middle of summer uh, these uh, green leaves will start to kind of die back and then I'll know the onions are ready. We just got the tomatoes out yesterday, so these guys are pretty small right now, but it won't be long and they'll be great big. Does anybody know what these are? Just in the middle, these are cabbages. And then this right here is going to be broccoli pretty soon. And these are from a plant family called Broscia. These over here, this is Brussels sprouts, and they'll go up tall on a stem. And then cabbage will have a big round uh, flower, which is the cabbage, in the middle. And then the broccoli 
will make little broccoli heads in the middle.